Hi guys, this is Rob here, I'm a Canva certified creative from Brazil, but based in Ireland. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Canva to record and edit a tutorial. So this is going to be a very useful video. Let's get into Canva. Okay, here we are in Canva and now we are going to start recording our tutorial. So you're going to click here on create a design and you're going to click on video. And now what we're going to do as we are recording a tutorial, I'm going to record myself as an intro. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But before that, I'm going to tell you that this is a very important piece. So here is your timeline. Everything that you do in your video is going to be showing here. Here you're going to be able to split your video. You're going to be able to duplicate this page. You're going to be able to add a new page or multiple uh, soundtracks. I'm going to show you that in a second. But now we are going to record. So I'm going to click here on upload and then you have the option to upload your own files or you can start recording yourself. In this case, I'm going to click here on record yourself. And here I am. And you can see here that I can hit the record button. But before you do that, I'd recommend you to uh, click here and select uh, your settings. Just make sure that everything is perfect here. So you can select your microphone in case you're using your laptop. Your microphone is going to be the default one and the same for your camera. But if you have more than one microphone, or more than one camera, you can select it here. In this case, I'm going to select this microphone here and I'm also going to check my camera if everything is correct. I'm just going to select this camera, which is the one that I'm using right now. And I also have the option here to camera only or screen share. In this case, I'm going to leave it as camera only as I'm recording myself. And this is an intro. And now that everything is correct, I'm just going to click on record. Hi guys, this is Rob here and I'm teaching you how to use Canva to record a tutorial. Okay, now that you've finished recording, as you can see, you have the pause button as well. In case someone interrupts you, you can pause it and keep it going after. But in this case, I'm done. I'm just going to click on done and click on save and exit. So Canva is going to put that footage here for me and I can start editing this footage. Hi guys, this is Rob. Okay, the footage is here and what I can do here, I can resize it and I can cut it if I want. I can add my elements, but the only thing I want to add at the moment here, it's my name. So you guys know who I am and we're going to uh, cut this. We're going to start editing this footage as well. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to press uh, R on my keyboard to, to add here a rectangle and it's a sort of a lower third. And I'm going to leave it here on this corner and I'm going to press T on my keyboard to add a text box. And I'm going to tap here my name, type my name. Um, okay, so I have my name here and I will put my name down here and resize it. I can change the, the type font if I want and everything else. So it's super easy as you guys can see here. And I can also add an animation. In this case, I'm going to animate this element. So I click on animate and I will select here burst. I like this one. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And this is what's going to show uh, when I start my video. What I can do as well, I can check here uh, with my marker and see where I want to start my video. So let's see. Let's see where I start talking Up here. And I'm teaching you how to Hi guys. This so I start in here and I'm going to cut it until to this point. Hi guys, this is Rob here and I'm teaching you how to use Canva to record a tutorial. Okay, so that's it. That's my intro and uh, it's a short intro, but it's just showing you how it works. So I'm going to cut it to this point here. Hi guys, this is Rob here and I'm teaching you how to use Canva to record a tutorial. So let's say that you don't want your, your name to be showing here for the duration of this video. What you can do, you can get your marker. Let's say that I want my name to show here just for two seconds. I'm gonna put it two seconds here and click with my right button in my mouse and click on split. So you have the option to split it and then the second part of your video, which is actually the same video file, but I've just split it. So I'm going to delete my name. So what is going to happen now? It's my name is Hi going guys, to show. This is Rob here and I'm Actually, I did that with the first. I'm just going to delete it here. Let's see. Drop here and I'm teaching you how to use Canva to record a tutorial. Okay, so that's fine. 
as you guys can see, my name just shows uh, at the beginning. And now I'm going to add a second page and I can start recording my screen and put my screen recording here. And uh, this is going to be added afterwards as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on uploads and click on record yourself and click on screen share. And here you can select the entire screen, a window or a tab. In this case, we're going to select a tab. I click on share. And now, as you can see, I'm sharing that tab uh, with Canva, but I'm not recording yet. So if you want to start recording, you click on record. But before we start recording, I'm going to show you a few things as well. So as you can see here, there is this little bottle, uh, bubble that uh, you can leave it recording your face while you're, you're talking, if you wanted to point at something, if you wanted to show yourself. But if you don't want to do that, you're going to click here on the camera icon and select no camera. So Canva is going to record your screen only. And you can also come here and select your microphone and uh, make sure that everything is correct. If you don't want it for some reason, if you don't want it to record your microphone, you can select no microphone. In this case, I'm going to record my microphone. So just click the record button. Okay guys, so now I'm teaching you how you record your screen with Canva and I'm going to teach you how to select a template. So you're going to be talking and everything that you talk and everything that you do in that tab is going to be recorded by Canva. That's how it works. So, and once you were done, you just do the same thing. You click here, uh, back to that uh, tab and here you have the option to pause it or you have the option to click on done. Click on done, click on save and exit. And now Canva is going to put the file there for you. You can put the file there and you can resize it the way you want. You can also add elements to it if you want. You can split it. In this case, if you want to split uh, in the middle and add a transition. In this case, let's add a transition here at the beginning. Click on transition. And I'm going to add here the slide transition. Okay, so you have the option to change the position of these transitions. In this case, I'm going to leave it in this way. I think it's cool. And let's see how it looks so far. Hi guys, this is Rob here, and I'm teaching you how to use Canva to record a tutorial. Okay guys, so as I started talking here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut the video here. Let's see again, record a tutorial. Okay, guys so now I'm teaching you how okay so it looks it looks great so what I'm going to do now I'm going to add some music if you wanted to add music you can do that as well you can click on upload and you can upload your own music or you can use one of canvas musics in our library which is very 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 good so you just click here on audio and select uh, the type of music you want to use and here you can see uh, as well that uh, Canva has uh, divided here in different categories. In this case, I'm going to select something an ambient. So let's just play this one. So I like this one. This one is pretty calm. As you can see, this is free as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on it. And then one important thing is Whatever you left your marker is where the music is going to start, but you don't need to worry because if you pull your marker here and if you drag it to the beginning as well, you can do that. You can make it shorter if you want it for some reason uh, at this point here, start with another song. Let's say that you wanted to push an intro with one music and the rest of your video with the other music that's okay as well so what you can do you can just uh, drag it and put it to the point that you wanted this song to start and then you're going to add another one so let's say that you were looking for something a bit uh, something happy so click on happy here uh, let's see here you select something there what you can do you can just put it there and click on here. As you can see, the song is entirely here. So you can just cut it to the point you want and that's how it's going to be. And after that, you can click on the music as well, on the soundtrack. 
and you can change the volume in case if you wanted to make it a bit lower I will do with both and that's it so let's say that you're happy with this and if you added everything you wanted to add if you added your transitions if you added your elements and everything else so all you have to do is to download your file you can download it in mp4 and you just need to connect your youtube account in case you're going to use this tutorial on youtube just because of your music you can click on download and that's going to be downloaded and you're going to be able to upload this file to your social media and use it as you want okay i hope you've enjoyed this and if you want to know more about my work i have a youtube channel in portuguese where i teach you how to use canva if you wanted to connect there are some links down below see you next time Tchau, tchau.